Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve percent problems using the percent equation. And specifically, we're going to take a look at finding the part. Now for the percent equation, we can use the percent times the whole equals the part. This equation can help us with any percent problem, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we're given and solve for what we're looking for. Let's jump into number one, where we have 85% of 40 is what number? I'm going to start by writing the equation using variables and then we'll plug in. So percent times whole equals part. P for the percent, W for the whole, and A for the part. Now we plug in, and as far as identifying the different parts of the equation, so figuring out the percent, the whole, and the part, there are different ways to go about and think through this. But what I like to do is start by identifying the percent and the whole first. When it comes to percent problems, we're going to have a percent of a whole amount, which gives us the part. So we can start by looking for that percent of a whole amount. And to go off of that, of and is can be helpful keywords. Of can be associated with the whole and is can be associated with the part. For example, number one, we have 85% of 40 is what number? So 85% of 40, there's our percent and whole is what number? So the part is unknown. Basically, we have 85% of 40 is what part of 40? So let's plug in here and we'll start with the percent. And when we plug in the percent, we want the decimal form. That way we're able to work through this using the decimal. And remember, when going from a percent to a decimal, all we need to do is divide by 100. And a quick way to do that is to move the decimal twice to the left. So for 85%, the decimal is right here. So after a whole number, and we move it once, twice to the left. So we get 0 0.85, 85 hundredths. And that's what we plug in for the percent. So 85 hundredths times the whole, which is 40, equals the part, which is the unknown here. So we keep our variable of A. And now we solve. Our variable A is already isolated on the right side of the equation. So all we need to do is multiply on the left side. So we have 85 hundredths times 40. That gives us 34. So A equals 34. So whether you're using a calculator or working this out by hand, we get the same thing either way. Now, I'm not going to work these out by hand in this video, but if that's what you're looking for, I do have videos where I do work through these types of problems by hand. Those links are in the description. So as far as number one, 85% of 40 is 34. Let's move on to number two, where we have what number is 67% of 115? So the wording here for number two is a little different than number one, but it's the same type of problem. Let's start with the equation. We have percent times whole equals part. Now we can plug in. And remember, we can look for the percent of a whole amount and use the keywords of and is. We have what number is 67% of 115. So our percent is 67%. And then we are finding the percent of the whole amount, 115. So let's plug those in. Now we need the decimal of 67%. So the decimal goes right there after 67, after the whole number, and we move it once, twice to the left, and we get 0 0.67, 67 hundredths. So let's plug that in. So 67 hundredths times the whole, which is 115, equals the part, which is unknown. We have what number is 67% of 115. 
So we keep our variable of a. And now we solve. Our variable a is isolated on the right side of the equation. So all we need to do is multiply on the left. We have 67 hundredths times 115. That gives us 77.05. So a equals 77 and 5 hundredths. That's our part. So for number two, 77 and 5 hundredths is 67% of 115. So there you have it. There's how to solve percent problems using the percent equation. And specifically, we looked at finding the part. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.